Well, let's confirm the teams for you. To open with Mahanama and Hatara Singer. Guda Singer comes in at number three. Then it's Aravinda De Silva, the captain. Ranatunga at five. Jaya Saria at six. Tilakaratni is the wicketkeeper to bat at number seven. Kelpaje, the off spinner, is at number eight. Then uh, Champaka Ramanayaka, along with the spinner and Nirasiri at number ten. And uh, Pramoja Wickremasinghe to complete their playing 11. Sri Lanka just having 12 fit players in the party at the moment. The South African team has Rushmere, we understand, to go in first with Kepler Vessels. Uh, Peter Kirsten to bat at three. Then Cronje, Caper, Rhodes, McMillan, Richardson, Snell, Omar Henry coming into this match to replace Tertius Bosch from the game against uh, New Zealand and Alan Donald to complete the 11 for South Africa today. Ramanayaka coming in to bowl the first delivery. Run, run, run. And there's a run. For two, but deciding against it. Well, it's always nice to get underway first ball of the match, isn't it? And Vessel trouble at all tucking that one off his legs old champaka ramanaka he's not really a speedster he's a gentle fast medium and here's all poor fielding in the gully paper's going to pick up one he's coming back for two he might have to hurry but very powerful throw paper trying to catch up with that one a loud appeal and up by steve woodward he moves his counter but not his finger that was very uh, difficult to move a counter without moving your finger but in fact oh, he does it with his thumb Henry <laughs> <laughs> hitting the pad <laughs> and confusion here amongst the South Africans and really that was a poor run the communication was bad they didn't seem to know what was going on what they didn't seem to realize was that Anya Asiri is throws with his left hand mm. that was the great, great mistake there they hadn't worked that out they thought he was a right hander in which case it was as safe as a, as a house but oh, it's dodgy business it's a good shot a lovely shot from Kaper down the ground for the first floor of the day Well, as we're going to see here, this ball was uh, one of the few that they've over-tossed this morning, and uh, Cape was able to get on the front foot, and no one straight. And uh, only had to beat the bowler there on his follow-through, and it was going to be four runs. Gee, that stump vision shot was a beauty, wasn't it? Magnificent stroke. Great camera. And over the top again through mid-wicket. And another boundary, once some more. Wickram Singer over-tossing. Remember, he's bowling up into the wind. But over tossing two balls in a row, two fours to Caper. Yes, we're going to see here again. Two full, middle and leg, no one out. Only had to clear that inner ring, and it was four runs. That's a good shot through extra cover for four. That's a lovely shot. Over tossing again, Wickram Singer. And Caper, who's already shown. A liking for the drive, smashed the ball over extra cover. Yes, we're seeing here once again wide and just too full. Actually, hit that on the app. He hit it very well. Oh, big head and bowls. Taper went to lift it over the onside field as clean bowls. And Aaron Asuri has the first wicket of the day. Frustration from Caper. Out for 18. It's 27 for one in the 14th. Well, you're right about frustration, Grant. Uh, he had to get on with it. And obviously, Anna Azuri is the one to try and dong and get away. He missed a little bit of turn there. He's been out there for a long time, out for 18, bold Anna Azuri. Well done, Sri Lanka. Kirsten chases it across pace, delightfully through the covers. And it's just stopped, is it? No, it's a boundary. A lovely shot from Kirsten. So that's his first four of the day. Well, I'm not so sure that Aravinda De Silva can afford having Gira Singer bowling with his record, but that's Kirsten. I mean, he just delayed the shot and just rolled his wrist over and just reached for it and timed that beautifully. Down the wicket, and he thumps it high, Wayne Hanson. That's a fine shot. It's six runs. Well, what a lovely straight hit from Peter Kirsten. There was nothing wrong with that. It was a marvellous stroke. My goodness me, he's a good player, this chap. Uh, he's powerful, he's strong, he may not be the most elegant of players, short men seldom are, but he hit it 
gosh, he hit that like a kicking horse. Racing her around the wicket to Vessels, and here comes the Sri Lankan 50. It's one down to third man. The South African 50. South Africa batting first after being sent in by Aravinda De Silva. Gersing is a little bit loose, but a lovely shot from Kirsten there, angling the ball down to a fairly fine third man. It's a lovely shot from Vessels. The chase for Hatter a singer who loses his hat just before the ball is picked up, so Hatter loses his hat. Over tossing, but oh, Jaya Syria again, beautiful fielding. Doesn't he attack the ball, Bob? Kirsten pulling Gurusinger behind square. Hatterasinger should cut it off. Marvellous fielding. <laughs> Kirsten playing high, wide and handsome. Three mid wicket. That's four. That's a good shot. A good piece of aggression from Peter Kirsten. Bessel C gets it away on the leg side. I thought for a moment he was going to get his first four there, but he won't. He'll get two. So that's a 50 partnership between Kepler Vessels and Peter Kirsten. And it takes South Africa now to 79 for one. Crashes this one through the covers. That's a beautiful shot by Kirsten. That's four runs. Marvellous shot by Peter Kirsten. End of the 30th over, 87 for one. Kirsten tries to go over the top. He's not going to get caught. In fact, he'll get a couple of runs. Well, one of the ironies of cricket, if he'd hit it properly, he would have been caught. He uh, may have only got one run. But because he made a mess of it, he got two. There he goes. That's, that's a beautiful the one, isn't it? shot. Four runs. Dead straight. Kirsten goes to 37, it's 98 for one at the end of 32. We were under instructions not to get him out. Here's a single from Peter Kirsten, and that brings up the 100 for Sri Lanka. Let's take it for South Africa, let's take a little 33rd over to do it. So applause around the ground. And he hits that well, backward a point. It's a long chase around there. This should run away for four. It has. That was a good shot. It was almost a good length ball. Very risky. It was a good piece of improvisation. In the air this time, he could be caught. He is caught. It's a very long straight boundary, this. It was bound to happen, that, I felt. He got away with it once or twice earlier, and that is what Sri Lanka so badly won. Yes, Peter Kirsten, frustration finally taking its toll. Kalpaje bowled well today. He's gone to hit him over long off. He hasn't got it all the way, and Hattrasinger down there takes a very comfortable catch. So the end of Peter Kirsten, the second South African wicket has gone, 114 for two. Straight back to Renatunga, who takes a good catch. So, South Africa losing two quick wickets. Kepler Vessels, long and sometimes tedious innings, has come to an end. And that's what happened. Renatunga, good catch. Oh, swinging it away. Good shot by Rhodes. This is an excellent shot. He picks up Renatunga and swings him away behind square. Real aggression. That was a fine stroke, wasn't it? He hit it beautifully. A lovely shot. It's a bit gentle, the delivery. Angling down league side, but uh, Rhodes did everything right. And slower ball. Oh, what a catch! What that a was catch. a stunning catch! Jaya Surya, I mean, that was a, he hit that beautifully. Mm. What a brilliant catch. If that doesn't go into the top of the classic catches, I'm a Dutchman. A beauty, yes. Well, Rushmere crashing this one into the offside. And Jaya Surya, reasonably close to the bat, diving away to his left. Gentle little delivery. Thumps it. And goodness me, what a catch. 
taken with both feet off the ground. Absolutely stunning. Reminds me of Bob Kunis at his prime. <laughs> Bob would love that. So 128 for four. Oh, dropped. John T. Rhodes getting a let off there. Hits straight back to uh, Anya Siri. Monty Rhodes just chopping it down to backward square. They're coming back for the second. This could be close. He's home. The throw wasn't quite low and flat enough. Short. He's hit it in the air, but hit it safely. He's got four runs down to fine leg. Bad delivery and quickly picked up by Rhodes. You see how he drops it going down the leg side short, and uh, Rhodes has been sweeping all the spinners quite keen to do it he picked exactly the right four runs swing and appeal for a stopping and it's successful so Klanya just hitting across the line gives Don Anurasiri the wicket his second and a marvellous stumping from Hasham Tilakaratni ends the innings well he overbalanced didn't he he was in he had the foot in, and then as he overbalanced, the foot came out. So 149 for five in the 42nd over. Hansi Kronje out stumped Telekarat, and he bowled in Yurisuri for three. And he goes again, he's caught brilliantly! What a catch. A magnificent catch again from Little Jahasiria. My word, that gives the Sri Lankans an enormous amount of heart, Rhodes is out, the key man's gone, 153 for 6, Rhodes out for 28. Yes, uh, we're going to see here in the replay, he uh, just didn't quite get to the pitch of that one, but uh, what a catch, Peter, look at that, uh, one-handed, it's incredible, isn't it, so when things are going your way, and you're running hot, everything just comes together, doesn't it? For the South African cause. The 43rd over has come to an end. It's 158 for six. Played exceedingly well. And that catch, look at the size of <laughs> McMillan, who is large, has Don and Urasiri, who is small. <laughs> On the ground he goes, Richard Snell, that's in the gap, that's a lovely shot for his first boundary of the day. Well, he played pretty well at Eden Park, and he looks as if he can play very well indeed. Don Anurasiri looking to control him, as we're seeing here, he was just a bit wide there, but uh, he gave himself room and he picked the gap beautifully, didn't he? some room and the ball just slides slips past and he's out for nine and South Africa are 165 for seven now oh mix up here Brilliant in the field today, the Sri Lankans. And uh, Mahanama has uh, thrown the stumps down. And Richardson's out. Well, there's nothing worse than being run out without placing a ball. And that's exactly what's happened to Richardson at Mahanama. Well, this just typifies the Sri Lankan fielding today. Absolutely outstanding. Well, I hate it when that happens. Run out without... Richardson out for nothing. 165 for eight in the 45th. Push and run. Shot at the stumps. And McMillan gets home. And there'll be another run, another throw. And well, it's all action, isn't it? And it has to be at this stage of the inning. Just a little bit of chaos there. Over the top goes Omar Henry. That's a very good shot indeed. Four runs. He got plenty of bet on that. 
And a solid blow by the number 10 batsman. Takes it to 108 after 47. Ramanayaka, the 49th over. Omar Henry high in the air. He could be caught. He is caught. Down at long off. So Omar Henry's brief innings comes to an end. Kalpaje, the catch, takes it well, pretty comfortable. And Omar Henry is out. Last ball of the South African innings. Oh, good ball, and they're going for a run. Oh, he's fired at the stumps, there could be another run. Donald's in trouble, he's got a long way to come back. Is he home? No, he's not, he's run out. He's given out, he's not happy about it, but the finger's up, he leaves it. He leaves Alan Donald in no doubt, does umpire Woodward. So the South African innings has ended with a run out. Sri Lanka have done very well. And all 10 wickets have gone. 195. Here it is, the throw. Alan Donald overran at the bowler's end, so he had a long way to come back. Well, umpire Woodward says out, but it was touch and go. But what a good display in the field. Jaya Saraya, the star, two fine catches in the field, but all round a fine performance by the Sri Lankans. Here's the first ball of the innings, McMillan to Mahanama. And runs from the first ball. Oh, it's going to be out. No, can't quite get high enough. Kepler vessels. And a bit of luck for Sri Lanka. Now they're riding their luck today. Oh, it was a no ball too. No ball because it was too high. Singer is caught by Vessels. So the first wicket's been taken. At last, Donald's got one on line. And Hatteras Singer is out. The first Sri Lankan is out. Hatteras Singer caught by Vessels. Bold Donald for five. It's 11 for no wicket. 11 for one. Yes, we'll see here that uh, stayed on the crease line. Look and just, uh, just followed it, didn't he? Uh, neither back nor forward. Orthodox catch the first slip, even though it was going down. But uh, certainly the breakthrough that uh, South Africa would have been looking for after such an unusual start with so many wides and no balls being bowled. So bad luck for Sri Lanka. Chandika Hatterasinger is out. Court Vessels bowled Donald five. And in the second over, Sri Lanka are 11 for one. Well, that's a better ball. And just bouncing short of Richardson. Donald was pretty interested in that. Do you think there was a nick there? No, I think it might have come off the shoulder here. If we look at the replay, we'll see that, uh, yeah, just oh, above the, the forearm up. there. Mm. That's why there was no carry on it. The body slowed it down. Sri Lanka have lost two, Donald's got them both. With Gurusinger, LBW to Donald for naught, it's 12 for two now. Yes, we're going to see here, Peter, that uh, Gurusinger was guilty of not getting forward on here. Still shuffling around the crease line, ball pitched in line, hit him just below the knee roll, came forward after the ball struck him, but he actually played that ball right on the crease line. Gurusinger out for naught, LBW to Donald, it's 12 for two in the fourth over. Lovely shot through the covers. Rhodes gives that one up, races away. Well played, the silver. Lovely. Yes, he just opened the face a little bit, didn't he? But uh, hit it very sweetly indeed. Oh, he's got that. One no fine leg. Beautifully played by Mahanama. Very dangerous not to have a fine leg in. He's got a man back deep uh, behind square. Oh, that's oh, well played. Four more. 
That's full, oh, yes. He just dabbed that down and got a, a thin edge, really, but well played and controlled. is a big blow. Bowl for seven, 35 for the loss of three. Well, this is one of the inconsistencies and uncertainties of cricket, really. A wide the ball before, that one a swinging inducker, a Yorker, Aravinda beaten for pace. Huge wicket. Is Donald delighted or what? So that gives South Africa a huge advantage now, and they're right back into this match. Aravinda goes for seven in the 10th over, 35 for three. Appeal turned down by Steve Woodward. I had the feeling that Donald joined in a bit later there. Oh, he's got four runs. Mahanama didn't like, look like a controlled stroke, but it's gone away down there. No one standing in at about second slip to catch it. There's a single taken, and that brings up the Sri Lankan 50. We're in the 15th over. And they've moved to 50 for three. Oh, bad ball, but it's, it's in the air. Easy. Could be caught. No, just dropped short. Well, that's a bit lucky. Snell down there running a long way from backwards square. Hit it very high to Lakaratni, but with no uh, carry on it. Tillers yes. is hit in the, the, the midders. Yes. <laughs> Rather painfully. And it, coming around the wicket, it really honed in on the spot, didn't it? Oh, dear. Ooh. Some yes, of these dear. plastic ones these days, they just don't stand up to it. So Omar Henry to continue from the southern end of the basin to Mahanama. Oh, short. And he pays the penalty this time. Clipped away behind point. Good shot. Four runs. Yes, Omar Henry not settling into any sort of a length. That was short outside the off stump. There's no one back there on the boundary sweeping, and it was a gift. Well, look at those, the worms there. Really, Sri Lanka's just ahead. It's a big shot. That's going to be in open spaces, is it? No, he's going to be caught. Well caught by Rushmere out there. And he had to look to see where the boundary was. Delightful the South African supporters. And Tillakaratni's innings has ended. Court Rushmere, bold Henry, giving Henry his first wicket. Tillakaratni out for 17, it's 87 for four. Yes, well, the idea was right, that ball was up there. It was in the slot to hit there. He got a lot of bat on it, but uh, it's a long boundary out there. It was a very well-judged catch. Look, uh, becoming aware of where the line was. That was a wicket that South Africa really needed. That's a big shot. That's going to be caught, is it? No, it's going just clear of Donald. He won't drag it in. That's what Sri Lanka need. A little bit of aggression and a bit of luck. So Mahanama gets the single that he needs for his 50. And now he's got three 50s in the World Cup. And his 12th 50 for Sri Lanka in one day internationals. He is 50, Sri Lanka are 106 for four. Oh, lovely shot. Oh, oh, that that was a brilliant, brilliant shot. shot behind point, crashing it away. And with the additional pace of Donald, that just raced across the Basin Reserve. A shot from Rotunda, could run away for four. That was a lovely shot from Ratatonga. And he really has changed the course of this game since he's been here. 30 not out now. It's a good shot for Donald's down there. The bounce is favourable, and that's the 150 for Sri Lanka. They're 150 for four. It's the 42nd over. Oh, that's a big shot from Ratatonga once more. It races down to third man, 
It seems that the faster these guys bowl, the further Renatuga wants to hit them. And Mahanama is out, caught by Richardson, bowled McMillan for 68, Sri Lanka a 154 for 5, and that might make a big difference. Here we're going to see it here, it was just an orthodox ball, actually fairly wide too, tried to run it down through the vacant slip position. I think it was a little, ball to me just seemed a little quicker, Peter, and uh, hurried on to him, he nipped it and the keeper did the rest, but uh, a breakthrough for South Africa, they're certainly happy with it. It's 154 for five, and it's in the 40. Well, there's more than a single, because that's been hit very well down behind square. That's going for four. Well played, Hajuna Ramatunga. This is getting back to what we're saying. This is a bad line, isn't it? Uh, it's not the line to be bowling when you haven't got the men out there fielding there. Well, that was not just on leg stump, that was a long way outside leg stump. In fact, Ranatunga did pretty well to catch up with it. So Vessels is not happy at the moment with the direction of Adrian Caper. 162 for five. Here's Kirsten, Ranatunga sweeps, sweeps fine, gets it. It's going to be a big chase for Omar Henry. So he's pulled McMillan out at this stage. He's saving, I'm sure, McMillan to bowl the last two from the southern end. So really, it's really well set up. Kirsten bowling and Ranatunga, who's batted splendidly. They'll have to hurry. Oh, they'll get him over throw two. Fortune favours the brave. Richard Snell was quite reasonable on having a go because if he'd hit it, it was out. But it was a bit difficult to back up. So, a bit of luck for Sri Lanka, and they need it. 167 for five. Hello! Oh, might be outstumped. He is, he's gone. A lovely piece of work from Richardson. And the sixth wicket has fallen for Sri Lanka, with Jaya Syria not able to keep his balance and keep in the crease. And he's been stumped by Richardson marvellously from the bowling of Kirsten for three. Sri Lanka are 168 for six now. Looking at this, I just wonder what he was trying to do. Uh, the ball was full enough to get down and drive, and he's trying to play some shot round the corner. But it was certainly smart work by the keeper. So we're in the 45th over, 168 for six Sri Lanka, with Jaya Syria leaving. Stump Richardson, bowl Kirsten three. That's more like it from Ranatanga. He'll look for a second run here. Donald's got a very strong throw. And they ran it well. Actually, Ranatunga was back very quickly. I gather, uh, I haven't seen them race, but he's one of the quickest in the Sri Lankan side. The appearances would, uh, wouldn't would really lead you to believe that, would no, they? No, a bit deceiving. <laughs> but he ran well here. Yes, yeah, just dabbing it away. He's played that shot very well today behind point. Coming back for the second and look at, look at him go. Quite comfortable in the end. Another single here for Ramatunga. So Sri Lanka having trouble getting the ball to the fence here. They're picking them up in ones. Yes, Ramatunga's uh, the man, the key man. And there's his 50. He's brought his 50 up with that single. It's his 20th one day 50. And what a marvellous innings. It really has pulled things around for Sri Lanka. Whether it'll win the game, we'll find out in the next three and a bit overs. Wide called, umpire Steve Woodward, the man from Wellington, or Lower Hutt, I should say. He leaves the scorer in no doubt. Alan Donald, he doesn't seem impressed, but it's in the book. Goes after it. Oh, that's going to be four runs. It's gone down through the gully region, and that is a vital blow for Sri Lanka, hit by Ronatonga. Well, it certainly is. That went very fine. And third man, I don't think he even saw it. He certainly didn't move if he did see it. And it just raced away. Well, the 
this last over could take a wee while. I think Kepler Vessels and Alan Donald will be very uh, meticulous about exactly where all the fieldsmen are. Mm. And uh, Donald's going to work out where he's going to bowl. The other interesting thing is if we get a tie, and this is a tie is a tie, there's a point each. We don't worry about countbacks of who did what earlier in the game. Okay, here we go, the start of the 50th over. Nothing oh, coming in. run out and that is the tension creeping through and South Africa have another wicket well panic Kalpa J looking for a single it just went through to the keeper Ranatunga said no I'm not having anything to do with that in fact he sent him back very wisely turned his back on him that's always a good way of getting rid of them and bingo he's out so Kalpa J comes back and he's gone for five, 189 for seven, so still seven runs left. Only five balls to be bowled now. Well, it's coming down to uh, Ranatunga more and more, isn't it? Because he's going to have to hit a boundary soon. Can't really afford to let the new man on strike with Donald, the bowler. And that's tough going for Ranatunga, but maybe he's equal to the occasion. Who knows? We're going to find out in a moment or so. Alan Donald signalling to his man way down at third man. Five balls left. Seven runs required. Ramatonga. He's lifted it away nicely to the wide open spaces. It should be four runs and it will be four runs. Oh, well played, Ramatonga. Marvellous shot. He picks that one up and hits it to the vacant mid-wicket boundary. There's no one within Kui. The nearest man is behind Square. And he played that very well indeed. Super shot. Oh, what does he do now, Kepler Vessels? Donald to Rotunga. He's got a hit, and he doesn't hit. Well, the only thing is that Ranatunga's off strike, off the strike. And how will Ramanayaka cope with Donald? He went out to the fieldsman. He had to throw the stumps down. So three balls remain. Two runs. And Kepler Vessels... He's marshalling the troops. What does he do? Does he bring men in? Does he keep defending the boundary? Interesting. Got to bring them in, doesn't he, I think? With a yeah, new batsman? Well, yeah. I don't know that he needs the deep men down it. But let's have a look at that throw before we go into that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't miss by much. <laughs> Donald to Ramanayaka. Oh, a full toss. What a good ball. He couldn't get it away. Straight full toss, very difficult. Of course, it's his first ball. A speedster like Donald, very straight, and that's the key. It's not so much the length in terms of the... But uh, that was well bowled. Two from two. Marvellous game of cricket here at the Basin Reserve. Donald against Ramanayaka. He's got it away. That's the win for Sri Lanka. Rabanayaka comes back for the second run. And in fact, that goes over the boundary. And of the second last ball of the day, Sri Lanka have won it. And boy, are they happy. Oh, well done, Sri Lanka. All credit to them. They bowled very well this morning. They restricted South Africa. And they came out. They made heavy weather in the early stages of their innings. But Ranatunga... Effort by Sri Lanka winning the match with the second to last ball of the 50th and final over 198 for seven and a man of the match performance there from Arjuna Ranatunga, 64 not out. The winning runs hit by Champaka Ramanayaka coming in at number nine. A win to Sri Lanka over South Africa by three wickets. Looking at the South African bowling, well, Alan Donald made those early breakthroughs, but in the end couldn't come back and take any more wickets in his second and third spell. He got three wickets though, a wicket each for McMillan, also for Omar Henry, the spin bowler, and one for Peter Kerr.